the thing about TEEP is it gives us a sustainable driven improvement. That yes. focus on teacher learning, five ACE to C's, that's not including English and Maths, was something like 27%. This year, five ACE to C's was 85 uh, I don't know what five ACE to C's, including English and Maths, was. I can remember you telling her it was ridiculously low. But we're now 60%. The biggest impact of TEEP, in a way, is raising aspiration. Absolutely. Of, of staff and students. Actually, well, a TEEP yeah. model covers... Everybody. Every aspect mm. of a student's experience at school mm. and ties together everyone that works in the school mm. as well. So it pulled Absolutely everything not. together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In terms of when we saw the opportunity to be involved in TEEP, the thing we were really excited about was it would give us a common framework and a common language for which to work with staff. And you've got that great framework to sort of pretty much hook all your different good practice onto. I would say that there's measurable impact already, mm. it's certainly in my lessons. What was really powerful there was the contributions from the TAs as well. They've already come up and said, oh, can we carry on doing our resources that they're creating for the students in there, which is wow. um, thinking for learning. And to have that, that want and that eagerness. And the lovely thing about what TEEP has done here is it's actually improved the collaboration between staff as well. The subject matter doesn't matter anymore, so to speak. It's all about the teaching and the learning that you can help one another and those best elements that you can use. It's actually been seen by the staff at Freeborough as a way of moving their teaching forward and that's what they've always wanted. I actually started as an NQT last year and I did have some challenging classes last year but I found that using the TEEP format meant that I was able to progress myself but then also help the kids progress and learn new skills. It's almost their awareness as learners yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and making sure in every lesson they're exhibiting those effective learning behaviours, yeah. but not just in the curriculum area where it's focused. Actually, they need to have the self-awareness and they need to have the self-control to realise that as learners, they need to use all of their skills and all of their lessons. Linking it back into other lessons as well, because they've not just learnt something in one lesson and then that's it. They've carried it on into other lessons and linked across mm. and I think that's something that's come from mm. sort of planning using the TEEP and sort of linking back the prior knowledge as well. So I think I'm much more sort of skills focused and thinking about how are they going to do the learning rather than how am I going to stand there and tell them about it. I think um, lessons appear to be in a lot more like a, a set order and it's a more sensible order because with the, the where it's like the present your information and agree learning outcomes and all that which starts and then leads on I think that it makes more sense as you go through the lesson to be doing it in them steps rather than like halfway through the lesson being told oh we're trying to achieve this I don't, I don't know whether it whether it was designed but it does challenge it does challenge your learning like uh, you know when you present new information and you know everything you've been everything you've been previously taught is either yeah. reinforced or argued with and then you've got to then you've got to make sense of both and you learn from it. I think it means that you have more variety of mm -hmm. what kind of activities you can do because if the teacher knows that this part of the lesson is going to be a certain thing they can choose different activities to go to that particular piece mm -hmm. of pie. It gives you more opportunity to have a variety of teaching and also a variety of what you learn and how you learn it. Transformation from when we've looked at marked work even just 12 months previously, it was quite staggering. Mm. We're really good at looking at what works in art mm. and trying to share that across yeah. in maths. And that turns those lessons on its head. I was ready to give up teaching um, altogether. Um, I'd had enough. I was bored with doing the same thing over and over again and not seeing the results. Um, I felt like I was nagging in the classroom all the time. I was stuck in the same with the same activities. Um, and nothing seemed to be working and I really was genuinely ready to leave. I just wanted, didn't want to do teaching anymore because I didn't think I was having any kind of impact. And TEEP just totally and utterly turned that around. I felt really excited about all the different resources and about the different activities and trying out new things and the impact it had in the classroom was just absolutely massive. You know, the students were so much more engaged and once they learnt the language and learnt what the activities were about you know, all you need to say is find your spring partner or find your autumn partner and they're off or the carouseling or doing whatever they want need to do. And I felt a lot more confident about what I was doing. You know, before it was sort of, you wouldn't try group work with lower ability students and even higher ability was a bit of a risk. But the, the students have just engaged with the activities because it's not just the kids sitting and talking, they're actually engaged in a, in a, in a learning task. 
so it's just been a hugely positive experience for me that you know it's obviously changed my teaching completely it's changed my classroom it's changed my practice totally